let's talk about um, processed meats market here in uh, southern Philippines do you know that um, the province of Cavite here in southern uh, Metro Manila almost each and every town is already a city except further south from uh, Dasmariñas all of the nearby towns um, near Manila turned out to be to become cities during the past 10 to 20 years because because of a lot of uh, progress and growth in commerce and industry and really plenty of people um, all around all around um, Cavite if you could just imagine the the number of uh, subdivisions the, the 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 entire plots and swaths of um, rice fields converted to to uh, the residential subdivisions here in Cavite it's really drastic what they have done over the past 20 years what used to be what used to be uh, rice fields here left and right of this uh, of this road is now uh, built up structures of subdivisions and uh, most of the working class population of Metro Manila um, would be living here if they live uh, down south it would be it would most probably be in uh, Cavite because this is where the more affordable uh, houses are uh, located so yeah if you ask me uh, about the processed meats business here in uh, in the south Laguna, Cavite and what have you in, in, in the nearby environments here at least here in Cavite it's really really uh, should be a bustling market bustling they're just uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't just be distributing in uh, in the markets you should have outlets in uh, in uh, the bigger subdivisions you should have a, you should have outlets resellers and uh, probably traders even of your uh, processed meat products because that's how big the market is it's can you imagine just one one uh, one one retailer in general trias cavite is doing is selling 400 500 kilos of shomai per day and his um, supplies of shomai are, uh, are 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 hard up on supplying him with these requirements such that he he was continually asking me every time I go visit him if I do know of some uh, suppliers who can give him uh, proper shomai to uh, market because it's such a cheap such a low cost product and it sells it sells plenty in uh, in the canteens in uh, in the food service outlets in in, in in people's homes everywhere so it's a it's a cheap protein for uh, for a lot of people so yeah if you could just start with some shomai and uh, embutido and longanisa and you're good to go i think and if you have two or three people you could almost probably uh, manufacture at least 50 kilos per person per day and and I think I do think that the market is ready to absorb all of the incoming meat processors because the the burgeoning population of uh, Southern Metro Manila is really on the uptick to the point that suppliers are hard to keep up are hard hard pressed to keep up supplying them with uh, these kinds of food items one has to develop also um, 
other products that could uh, commensurate the the popularity of uh, Shoma and Embotido probably uh, uh, yeah we'll, we'll give them some ideas on uh, which uh, products can be developed to to cater to the low cost market segment actually just uh, grinding or putting to the grinder uh, pork face and uh, and some starches and gluten and what have you that would be a really really nice sisig uh, sisig sausage yeah probably could do that that's uh, pork jowl pork jowl um, some fat actually that's fat already pork jowl and not not MDM anymore pork jowl M1 M2 some gluten and some flavor I think it's good 30-35% that is perfect I could do a, a C6 sausage like that and it'll be it'll be a, comp a really nice composite and it wouldn't be buhag hug it will be um, plump it will become a good emulsion as long as probably you ground it twice the um, you ground it twice on a fine plate because sisig as, as it is they are uh, huge chunks of meat i like them uh, really well incorporated into the emulsion so yeah um, if you ask me if I do have the propensity to do manufacturing I will do that so that's my tip for the day bye